When you're factoring a polynomial or a trinomial, sometimes there are some special rules that will make your factoring a little bit easier. In this video, we are going to take a look at those special factoring rules. The first rule we're going to take a look at is called the difference of the squares. And what that is, is it says if you have a squared minus b squared, that is equal to a minus b times a plus b. So if that middle term here is missing and there is a subtraction sign in between the two squares, then you can factor it by going a minus b, a plus b. So if you have here x squared minus 4, well, if you're to take the square root of each side, the square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 4 is 2. So x and 2 would go in each parenthesis. One will be minus and the other will be a plus. Let's try a little bit harder here. Let's say we have 9x squared minus 100. Well, you have to think about what the square roots of each of these are. It's 3x and 10. So I have 3x minus 10 and 3x plus 10. So that is the difference of the squares. One of the most important things on the difference of the square is that this sign in between the a squared and the b squared must be a minus. If this is a plus sign in between, you cannot factor using the difference of the squares. The next special factoring rule is factoring a perfect square trinomial. So if you have a perfect square trinomial, it's Let's say we have a squared plus or minus 2ab plus b squared. And that's either going to be plus or minus. It can't be both of them. So you will end up with here a plus or minus b squared. A lot of times people don't like to use the perfect square trinomial rule. They'll just factor it how they normally would factor trinomial, and that's fine, but this will save you a lot of work if you can remember this one. So if I have here x squared plus 2x plus 1, what you have to do in order to determine if it's a perfect square trinomial or not is think about what the square root of x squared is and the square root of 1 is. So we have x times x and 1 times 1. If you're to take those, this 1 times 1, and add the 2, and you get the middle term, then it is a perfect square trinomial, where you have x and plus 1. And then we have our factored trinomial. Let's try a little bit harder one here. Let's say I have um, x squared minus 6x plus 9. Well, 9 is a perfect square, and that would be 3. If I go 3 plus 3, you get 6. Technically, it would be negative 3 plus negative 3. So I have x minus 3 would be the perfect square trinomial. So let's say I have 9x squared plus 4. Now I would prefer to take this 9 and multiply the 4 and look at the factoring of 9x squared plus 12x plus 36. And that is a perfect square trinomial that can be factored into x plus 6 squared. But since you multiplied by 9 here, you need to go and divide by 9 so that would be x plus 2 thirds and bring the 3 up and we have 3x plus 2 squared. All right, so that is factoring using the perfect square trinomial formulas.
The last special formulas are the sum and difference of the cubes. And I wrote them out separately because sometimes when you write them together it will get confusing. If you have a, a cubed plus b cubed, that is a plus b times a squared minus ab plus b squared. And then if you have the subtraction, a cubed minus b cubed, that is a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So this is how I work this formula out. If I have, for example, x cubed minus 8, I like to write the cube roots of each of those. So what my a and my b would be? My a would be x and my b would be 2. And because I have subtraction, you need to use the difference formula. So you're going to go a minus b, so x minus 2, and then a squared, so x squared, plus a times b, so x times 2 is 2x, plus your b squared, so that's 2 squared, which would be 4. Let's try another one. Here I have uh, 27x cubed plus 64. And I want to uh, factor this out. So you have here a, an addition, so you're going to use the sum formula. My a and my b's will be the cube root of 27 is 3, and then the cube root of x is x, the cube root of x cubed is x, and then the cube root of 64 is 4. So if I write, write those into the formula, I get 3x plus 4, I'm using this top formula here, times 3x squared, which would be 9x squared, minus 3x times 4, which would be 12x, and then plus b squared, so 4 squared is 16. And that would be my factorization of my difference of my cube, or some of my cubes.